to all my friends, Liberty Garden, January 14th, uh, doing a little fencing at the farm today, some repairs, and uh, it's uh, real misty, a little, little rain, so I really can't go in the back, because I'll get stuck in the mud, so I'm going to be working that little corner over there, there's some loose wires that I need to repair, and I just need to pull them, it's not, it's not many. And for that, I'm gonna walk out there with this backpack. I'm gonna put in this backpack, the fence stretcher, pair of pliers, loppers, the pounder. I'll probably hump uh, these T-posts on my shoulder and this little bucket with the hammer, pliers, clips, and some staples. And that's all I need, my gloves and my hat. And that's all I need to get some repairs done over there. Probably pull wire a little bit. So, thought I'd show you this. This is just minor repairs, and uh, I'll be going to the back later today. Hopefully the weather gets a little better, and I'll do another video from the back where I'll be clipping some fence. Until next time. Well, this is the gap we're going to be covering today. Uh, as you can see, the fence is going that way, and uh, it's a four-strand fence. Um, not, too, not too happy with it because it's only four-strand, but the wire is good, so... This is part of the assessment of the fence. This wire is pretty solid, four point wire, but it's only four strand, so that's good. I can always throw another another strand. Uh, the other impediment is that uh, the brush, you know, we gotta get rid of all this brush here. So right now my fence, my, my neighbor's property hits on this tree and goes that way. And from this tree that way, uh, this fence, this four strand fence, along with all the brush and, 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 the, and the fence line, has been enduring the pressure of uh, some cows. Uh, they, they don't have much of an incentive to come over to this side. And uh, so it's been holding on okay. So I'm not too worried about that. Worst case scenario, worst case scenario, his cows come over to my side or my cows go over to this side when I get some. Uh, the biggest issue for me is from this point on here to the highway because there's nothing holding a, a cow from getting out of here and uh, hitting the highway. Uh, a cow may not get out through here, but if it's, but if, if her calf gets out, she's definitely gonna go behind it. So as you can see here, a young calf, this fence is off the ground about 16 inches. Um, so I'm just probably gonna throw another line in here. Uh, maybe bring the bottom line a little bit down or just leave it there and maybe throw another line in here in between these two lines here here and this one so i'll make it five five strand the, the fence is pretty strong and uh, i'm just gonna pull it uh see how much it gives it might not give much but there's some trees in here and uh this big hackberry it's also has eaten up into the wires so i got one pull here and then I gotta pull over there. So I, I'm probably gonna join any wire that's been eaten up by the by the hackberry. I'm just gonna join it from here, circumvent the, the, the hackberry, and just pull hard from that other hack, hackberry over there. And that's how that's gonna work. Uh, on, on this, I don't know if you recall, I did a video a while back about using uh, trees as corner posts. Well, this this fence is holding up pretty nicely despite uh, me using the using the tree as a, a corner post. What I did back then, I put these uh, these uh, boards here to to stop the wire from digging into the tree. And it's been doing a pretty decent job. See, you can see more there. And you can see more there. So it's not perfect, but uh, it gets the job done. And, and you know, the, the wire is tight. It hasn't come loose in all this time. This, the, I did this last year and it's still pretty tight you know um, so that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna I got some extra wire here with me and I'm just gonna pull pull the wire with the with the come along or with a fence stretcher around this tree again here using those boards right there and uh, I'm gonna pull that and uh, I might add an extra line of wire okay folks that's what I'm doing I'll show you the finished product later on uh, until next time